delicious. You like cheese? I think just about everybody I know likes cheese, but have you ever had smoked cheese before? Man, that just takes it up to a whole nother level. If you like smoked stuff, smoked meats and uh, smoked whatever, man, try smoking some cheese. So easy to do. If you got a smoker at home, it is a piece of cake. You don't need any heat. You just put smoke to it. So if, if you've got the ability of just delivering cold smoke to some cheese, man, it's a quick deal. It, it takes me 90 minutes. I put it in the smoker and take it out and then zip lock it real quick and lock in that flavor. Whoa, unbelievable. So I'm just going to show you a real quick uh, <clears throat> technique on how I do it. That's not really anything special. It's just basically taking the cheese out of the wrapper, put it on the rack, do it like this, space it out. And then uh, I'm going to get all these wonderful cheeses. I got a great big block. Damn boy, he thick! Of this New York cheddar. I'm going to cut that up into chunks and put that on here and then uh, put it on my racks and then put it in my smoker. And in 90 minutes, we're going to get it out. And it doesn't change uh, color too much, but boy, it really takes that flavor in really good. So give us a second and uh, I'm going to get these loaded up. We'll put them in the smoker and get them back out. I'll test them right on camera. Man, you got to try this. So here we go. Look at all that delicious cheese. Woo, ready to go. That's it. Just load it in. And uh, I put it in the top top racks of my smoker because that's where all the smoke likes to play. And let it just kind of sit in there and take in some of that delicious hickory smoke. Um, I like hickory. I haven't really experimented with some of the other different flavors of smoke, the different woods and things. But uh, hickory just seems to lend itself pretty good to smoking that cheese up. Uh, as far as types of cheese, I've got some... Uh, Sharp cheddar seems to smoke really good. We love pepper jack cheese, and smoked pepper jack is really good. So we put some of that in there. I've got some uh, just plain Monterey Jack, and then that uh, New York cheddar. We're going to try that stuff out, too. So I don't know. I think it's going to be good. I The only time I've really had this thing have it messed up is when I did it in the summer, and it was like 90 degrees out. And so I opened up my smoker and I had cheese stalactites. Yeah, it looked like a cheese cave in there because the cheese started to melt. That wasn't pretty. So usually do this in the winter or a, a cool night. You can do it. Like I said, it's only 90 minutes and you don't, you don't want to put heat to it. You just want to let that smoke go in and make sure the cheese is dry. Of course, it'll take that smoke a little bit better and... You can do it longer. It just sometimes it, it will take too much smoke and then it just tastes like smoke. <laughs> yeah. And you know, you can go mild too and just uh do it for maybe an hour instead of an hour and a half. That's still good, you know, still got a little a little smoke. The smell, I think it's what it, what it does is your nose smells that smoke on the surface of the cheese. It doesn't get too deep into the cheese, but uh, your nose will smell that, and then that's what makes your taste buds go boom. Whoa, there's smoke in there. So we're going to give this a try. Uh, we'll pull it out and test it here in a little bit. All right, here we go. Yum. Well, let's check it out. Been about 90 minutes. I think these are going to be good. I'm going to pull them out and uh, cut a little slice off, and you can have a virtual taste right there. <laughs> I get the real thing though, but you can try it and give it a shot if you're going to like it. All right, just a second. I'm going to get these pulled out, put them on the table, take a slice, see what happens. 
Okay, um, I don't know if this is common practice or maybe if I just discovered that this makes a difference, but when you when I take my cheese out of the smoker as quickly as I can, I will put the stuff in Ziplocs and try to pull all the air out. I suck all the air out of them and then and I close them and then uh, I put them right in the refrigerator. Cools them down a little bit. They're a little, you know, even though that's a cold smoke, they're still, they might be a little sweaty. Even your smoker might produce just a little bit of heat, making the cheese a little soft. So it's a lot easier to package if it's uh, refrigerated. And so I've been putting them in these Ziplocs. And then, like I said, get the, all the air pulled out, cool them out in the refrigerator. You know, it doesn't matter, a day two, whatever, whenever you have time. Then you can get them out, cut them into chunks, uh, vacuum seal them, and gosh, you know, cheese will just seemingly keep forever if you vacuum seal it and just keep it in the refrigerator. Don't, don't freeze it, because if you freeze it, it does something to the molecular structure of that cheese, and when you pull it out and thaw it out, yeah, it's not, it's not yucky, but it's crumbly. It doesn't even, I, I can't even cut the stuff. It just kind of just turns into crumbles. It's not as good. So, uh, I just will Ziploc it and, and I put it in a, in a package and, and put it in my refrigerator and keeps there for months. We give it away as gifts during Christmas time. Uh, a little bit of that and some sausage, some smoked meat and, and people just, they love it. So, uh, let's try it. And if I spit it out, it's yucky. This is that New York cheddar specially made, and the block was a gift for me. And uh, my friend goes, you gotta try smoking this stuff. So here it is, you know, the color's not much different. And let's try the flavor. Man. That was good cheese before. Oh, and I just took it up to a whole nother level. Man, you gotta try it. This is New York cheddar. Ooh, dad gum. That might be my new favorite cheese in the whole world. Hmm. Wow, I'm gonna have to have a couple more pieces off camera. Hmm. Got a good smoky smell to it and flavor's great mm, well that's the secrets to smoking cheese give it a shot and uh let me know what you think i'd be willing to trade secrets with some other stuff too on that smoker but that's the stuff smoke your cheese try it out go get them